Hey guys, Lady Luna here, and this is a bit of, this is another um, Sims 3 to Sims 4 conversion build. It is, in fact, the, um, the, uh, house pawn centric from sunset valley which was one of my favorite builds in sunset valley I, it was really beautiful and um i it was just um really awesome and interesting it was very modern and very asian inspired um it had a like a really nice open floor plan and I just really wanted to recreate it for The Sims 4. Um, it involved a, it actually involved some terrain painting because it was in fact a, um, it was in fact a, uh, a, um, a situated on a pond, thus the name Pond Centric. Uh, but we don't have any terrain tools in this, so I uh, used the pool tool and uh, yeah there was I played in this house several times before uh, and uh, I used to play it and I would have like I think one of the first times times I played world adventures I used this house and uh, because I felt like, because I had my Sims going to Shang Simla a lot, and I kind of felt like it really matched a lot of the styles of stuff I was bringing home. Um, I ended up turning the garage air, well, like the covered, um, the covered driveway area into a uh, dojo. Actually, uh, yeah, so. Uh, it was pretty cool. I, uh, I, if I play with this house, I might do something similar again, like make it into a yoga room. I forgot what way the, uh, <laughs> this sucked because I forgot what way the, uh, roof went and I sort of just did my own thing and I went back later and looked at it in the game and it's not right. Uh, but because I had gone in and did all the pool part and everything, it wouldn't let me go and, um, it, it wouldn't let me go and change it up. It kept saying you need to be on flat terrain and stuff like that. And I think because of all the porches and pools next to each other and everything and the pool being re pressed right up against the house, it just wasn't going to work. Um, so I added in some pieces to make it look a bit more like the old version, but yeah. Um, I actually, uh, really tried to make this look like the, um, version in the, uh, in the original build. Um, I even tried following the, what the pond pattern was and everything. I pretty much though forgot the pond going out the front of the house and I had to go back in and add that in later. Um, yeah, I just, I like how this all came out overall. Um, yeah, so you can swim in the po pool and, or quote unquote pond and everything. That's about it. I used to place fish spawners in there and I would have my fi Sims fish out the back or just have a koi spawner in there. So it looked like it was a koi pond and yeah. So, um, we don't really have that option in the Sims 4 just yet. I hope we get to have some sort of Asian inspired town that we can have our Sims visit. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. I mean, there's a lot of Asian influence in the new city living expansion pack so from what I have been able to tell, but yeah, it's probably not going to be exact. This also isn't exactly how the walls are painted. Um, but, uh, I basically just laid out the floor plan and tried to redo it to the best of my memory. So not everything's going to be exact. I do remember there had been a lot of orange. Um, uh, yeah. So 
here I, I'm already trying to adjust the one roof and it wouldn't let me because of the uh, pond because of the ponds and stuff so yeah uh, if you were to go in and delete the ponds you could make the room however you uh, to make the roof however you would want it to look but you'd have to go in and place the ponds and the rocks again and I just wasn't gonna do all that that was just uh, that was just too much work um, yeah so there's also three columns but in the like I miss free placing columns that was a really nice thing to be able to do now they're stuck to the grid tile corners and I'm not a big fan uh, yeah so um, I really like the columns there though and so I decided to leave it even though it wasn't perfect um, yeah so there's just the 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 build is really simple, but it's kind of expensive because of the pools and because of all the rocks and stuff I used. I think it's um I think it's like seventy thousand or more than that probably. It's just not gonna be one of those nice starter homes, despite the fact that it's only got two bedrooms and one bathroom. Sorry about that, guys. Um. Yeah, I uh, hope you like it anyway. Uh, as I said before, it's just me trying to recreate it to the best of my memory. I put in some cherry blossom trees instead because all it had in it in the uh, instead of just bamboo because that's all it had in it in the uh, um, original version. And um, I'm trying out some different wall art and stuff like that. Uh, I think overall it's really nice and I like how it came out I did I did was playing with it a little bit with some sims and I did go in and redecorate it to more of my style and yeah so um, it's not like I'd be angry if you guys went and did it your style too uh, but overall it's still just one of my most favorite builds from the base game of the uh, original Sims 3. Original Sims 3, yeah, that's kind of oxymoron, isn't it? Um, so, I, I even redid, like, a lot of the floor tiling the way it had been, like, out on the deck where the, um, extra table is and everything. It has the, um, uh, alternating floor tile pattern and it, to make it look sort of like parquet I guess and yeah so this wasn't all that difficult it did have some problems and stuff um, but yeah I used one of the weep I used the weeping willow tree and I used or the weeping cherry tree and I used that um, the regular cherry tree I really actually like both those trees and I think they're very pretty uh, and I would love to use the weeping the weeping cherry tree more and um, I of course as you saw I used the uh, the uh, petal patterned water for the pond and uh, I think in a minute I'm about to to remember to put the pond in like here I'm already going in I'm like oh I'm gonna upload it and everything and I still recorded this and then I'm like oh yeah I have to put the pond in and oh here I'm going through and doing the roofing and we're about to come into screenshots so I'm gonna leave you with some music and you can uh, enjoy the rest of the video without my yammering on and I uh, hope you have a great day and take a little time to enjoy the view so, so.